I've never made a short film. I've made short projects, music videos, and of course commercials and things. I've never really done a, a proper short film since film school. The premise of Roman's film is following a like a sci-fi vampire and vampire tracker and their imminent meeting point, basically. But it's not going to go where people are expecting it to go. Die again, I'm dead. What? You're blocking your face. What? Move your hand. Up or down? Go back ten feet and switch hands. I can't. The wire goes down this arm. Cut it. Sorry, I made it my hand. I thought that'd be more interesting for my guy. How long to switch the cable to the other hand? 20 minutes. Let's do it. Sorry. Three minutes. I can't. Sorry. Cut. Cut. Get the bag. Get the bag. Get the bag. I thought it would be fun to do something kind of deconstructed and had this behind the scenes element and that I would appear in as a performer. Well, it's intimidating to be in front of the camera. You're aware that people are scrutinizing you and and that was actually one of the reasons I did it to be reminded of what actors experience. Hey Jason, I'm doing this short film for W Hotels and Intel. It's a space age vampire thing. You want to be in it? Yeah, sure, sounds great. When I um, you know, decided to be in it, I thought I wanted to make it around my world, so Jason came to mind as an actor, our studio space where we do a lot of our work, Directors Bureau and then the W Hotel, which is literally two blocks away, is all part of my world. And in fact, he uh, is really my co-writer on this script because we did a lot of goofing off and improvisations. Do you want to have like a um, temple, like silver oh, temple? Oh, that'd be great. Why don't you guys have a little playtime, take a photo, <laughs> I totally trust you. And I think silver temples, but like David Bowie style is a good idea. Yeah, I mean, the man, the man who fell to Earth, his hair is so cool. It's like slick back. But it's orange, yeah. and he's like six feet tall, English, and 100 pounds, so yeah. <laughs> might not work on me. If you add it all up, it's not the same on me, but... Working with Jason Schwarzman is a trip. He's ridiculously funny, and I think he's a genius, and it's really fun. Cut! Good! I was just soaking in the movie. I didn't know what to say. Oh, it's not a real movie. No. Uh, <laughs> and now make it straight behind the lens. Straight behind the lens. Straight behind the lens. Behind the lens. Don't don't sway it out. Don't, don't sway it. And action! <laughs> oh yeah, hold the ultra bow. And you hold a giant W. <laughs> it's actually scary how well the, the W matched his concept with that sort of futuristic sci-fi vibe full of just like red lights and green lights, patterns on the walls and you know, the architecture itself. I'm a big fan of technology. I've been around it for most I can remember. My dad is always someone that's um, really advocated new technology for filmmaking. And then I thought, oh, the Ultrabook is a tool that's intended for creative people to be able to make things and do things. And I thought, well, in the preparation of my movie, that would be the tool that I would use. And let me see his, let's see his, okay, so you see that guy, so let's just see what that looks like, ready, and action. <laughs> I drive the away! When you're making a film, you know, the directors, they've always got these crazy ideas, or, you know, to them they're not crazy. Part of my job is, as an enabler, really, is to make them come to life. I think what we got on film for this one is going to look amazing. Um, but it was very messy, very messy. Well, the major challenges were, you know, we had this visual effect, which is a head getting ripped off someone's torso and dealing with blood. I've actually done some things with this before, and there's always a lag time between when you cue the blood to happen and when it really spurts out because of the pressure of the system that propels the blood. So once you do the effect, it gets very messy and it takes a long time to clean up. So that would be the biggest production challenge was how to manage that. Three. Two, one. Cut it, cut it, cut it. We're out of blood. All right. <laughs> Roman's a lot of fun to work with, mainly because it was just so spontaneous. You know, I'd wake up one morning and I'd have like an email saying, we need like a sushi chef, a trumpet player, um, and a hustler outfit. 
and you know, it's like such bizarre things that are coming up. I wanted to have a sense of improvisational quality, keep it fresh and just something that was not, um, you know, too specified in advance. I mean, when you're really shooting something, especially when you have limited time and budget, you have to kind of collapse things and distill it down. So some of the things I'd imagined doing weren't really possible with the time we had. So you just have to improvise and to um, do the best you can. And cut, perfect. At least I saw this job.